Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make an origami paper crane. What you're going to need is a square sheet of paper, and that's pretty much it. Um, first, you want to put this, you, know, you want to put the bottom to the top, which I already did that step when I was making or cutting out my square, whatever you want to call it. Then you want to unfold this, and then turn it and do the, this part of the bottom up to the top. And this crane flaps its wings. But just warning you, this is kind of hard. So Then you're going to flip it over. So then you want to turn it like this and fold the bottom up to the top. Next step is to turn it around and fold this part of the bottom up to the top. I know all of you guys can see all my folds because I can see it right now. Next step is to just flip this over or just leave it like this, which I think it's just better to leave it like this. I don't know why I said to flip it over. But as you can tell, you can see in here, there's a diamond in each and every single one, but you have to turn it to find the diamond. You see that? So you want to grab two of the diamonds, diamonds, pinch them, put them together like that, push it down, and then, so I'm just holding it down with my hands, and take this part and just push it down. So I'll show you that part again. So you see there's two parts of the diamond, so one diamond, two diamond, push those together, push them down, these flaps that we have, push them down, and take this part and push it down. Hopefully you guys get the hang of that part. Then, you want this part, which is the part that has, like, no flaps. This is just the part that's stuck together, I guess you could say. And this part has different, like, flaps. So you want this part to be at the top, which has, like, this part. And then you want this part to be at the bottom. So you want to take the side and fold it up to that crease line that you have there. I'll show you what crease line I'm talking about. This one. I don't know if you can see that, but that. Do the same to the other side. But try not to rip the paper as I did multiple times. Flip it over and do the same to this side. Okay, once you have this on both sides, you want to fold this part down. So, you see this part, just fold that down. Okay, then you just unfold that part and unfold both of the flaps. So, in the front and the back. Then just try to flatten it out a little bit so it's easier to do this next step you're going to take this first okay i'm going to try to point this towards you see this grab that put your hand in the bottom then this part is a little bit hard okay so i'm just going to go like that push this part or first just take this part okay i'm trying to show you guys but it's kind of hard to show you guys and do it at the same time so you want to fold this part in. I don't know if you saw that, but I'll show you after in a second. And, and I'll show you, like, you'll figure out what I did. You see that side? I just folded that part in. Okay? Do you see to the other side? Okay? You want to pinch this a little bit or push this. Hit it a little bit. So I like just to hold this part. And you want it to fold like that on the inside. I don't know if you can see it folding. But it should fold against the part where we folded this part up. It should fold against that part. Okay. Then you want to grab the top. And then it just should just push down by pretty easily. Oops, I just ripped a little bit. It's okay. If, you, if it rips a little bit, then it will be fine. But then you have that. That part is kind of hard. But then you want to just do the same to the other side. 
sorry if like this part is too hard for you. Uh, it was pretty hard for me the first time I tried this as well. Once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So you just, once again, you fold this bottom part. Okay. Then you fold it against that part that we folded against earlier. Pinch this part and slowly push it down. Because you don't want to bend the paper. Well, you do like want to bend it down like this. But you don't want to bend it too much so that it will rip. You just want to be careful because once I bent it too much and it ripped. And if it looks like this at the top squares, you can just try to fix it a little bit. Which is what I try to do. But if it's not perfect, it's fine. Like, not all origami has to be perfect. But I'm just trying to fix it a little bit. But as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I got it as good as I can get it. So once you have this part, you have like this diamond part. This is going to be part of the body. So you guys can probably notice that it's starting to come together. So like these are the wings and that's the body. Now it's time to do the actual part though. So what you're going to do is, hold on, I'm trying to get it in the frame. Because I was over here. But, so, like this. Fold this part just over like that, so then you can kind of see this little part there. Fold this up, so then you still have that part. Fold that part up. Don't uh, fold it yet. Fold this part back over, and then pull it a little bit, and then you could crease it or fold it, whatever you guys want to call it. Okay. Okay, so once you have that part, you want to do the same to the other side. So flip this, grab this, pull it up, don't crease it, fold this part over, and then pull it and crease it. So mine is a little messy, guys, but it's fine. So it should look like this. Then it's time to make the head, okay? So I'm going to do this one. Just stick your thumb inside. Hold on. Stick your thumb inside, and if it doesn't like open all the way, it's fine. Just try to push it in there. Push this, and reverse the crease. If there's no crease on this one, then you could just do it on the opposite one, which is this one. I'm saying. So, so you want to pull. You want to stick your thumb, pull it, so it should look. Just something like this, okay? You want to reverse the crease. This part is a little bit hard too. And smash it down. Or if you want, what I like to do is push this down. Push this down, I mean. Stick it like that. And then pinch it to reverse the crease. And look at that, it's been reversed. So just trying to now you get the head. This part is going to be the head. If you guys can tell that already. Hold on, I'm trying to make it a little more neat here. Like that. So then, there is your thing almost completed. So, all you have to do is take this part, fold it down so you guys start seeing this part again. And then, same to the other one. And then, this is optional, but what I like to do is take a pencil and kind of roll it a little bit so it kind of looks like that, like the bottom's kind of curled. Do the same to this wing. Okay, so that two sides. Curl this one a little more. And then you can clip it back up, put it back up on me. So then it kind of like curls up and kind of looks like the wind is pulling it. You go like that. And then you get to your crane, guys. Just hold this part and hold the tail. Oops, kind of um, did that. Okay. You want to pull it gently. And I don't know if you can see that. The wings are moving. Um, you have to be careful though, or else they'll kind of just fall down. Got to push it down. Hi guys, you guys can see my eyes now, but push it down, 
Mm, oops, oh no, the head got messed up. Hold on. No, wait, that isn't the head, that's why. Haha, -ha. this is the head. <laughs> so just pull it super gently. And I don't know if you can see that, but that wing is moving. Hold on, I gotta move this one down a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but the other one in front of me is moving as well. You don't want to let go of it too hard or else this will happen. Which, I just wanted to do that so I could show you guys that. But if you don't want to use the wings, it's fine. See, it kind of goes down a little bit, but you got to be careful. So what I like to do, you know, I like to do a lot of things, but I just like to kind of take something and kind of tighten it a little bit. Um, just so that the wings are easier to use like that. And you got to just pull it gently so that it doesn't come down. So, crease it really good just so like get this good and pull that down a little bit i want to gently just pull this and the wings are moving guys see how gentle i'm doing it guys you don't want to do it too fast or else the wings will come undone look at the wings flapping guys you can make it fly away. And if you're going to do it fast, just go like this. Okay? You don't want to pull it like this. See? Or else it'll come undone. You want to just be careful. So when you when you start flapping it, flap it slowly. And then you can start kind of flapping it fast. Like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It kind of doesn't really stand up. But it's still really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this crane video. Peace out.